<laughs> okay, both players have fun. They're ready. Yeah. Okay, Mysterica. Another Bayonetta. We are seeing waves of this character. I have I have people like Gemini telling me to come to the dark side every single day, <laughs> and I'm just so tempted. Corn is enough of the dark side for you, I think. Yeah, uh, DLC dark side. DLC dark side. <laughs> All right, we will see if fate holds true for this matchup, or if Mysterica can overcome this 55-45 matchup for for Bayonetta. Uh, every mech in favor of Bayonetta. In favor of, but yeah, I've, I've only I've heard a lot of my little Mac players say like, yeah, this matchup isn't that bad. Oh wow, okay. Yep. Well, let's see what Joe too cool to do. He's got the knowledge of this character, mm -hmm. and right now doing an excellent job already, 72% on Mysterica. Yeah, he's throwing haymakers right now, We're getting some huge damage on now. Oh, nice string by uh, by Mysterica. And I think um, I know as good as anybody how soon Little Mac can kill. Yep. Both uh, both characters though. Real potent not taking early stocks, and I'm really interested in uh, seeing how Joe Cool's going to return to the stage with Bayonetta in his face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it does seem like he's playing neutral. Like he wants to sit on the stage and play neutral as much as possible, and he's been able to do that until this point. Ooh, oh, nice recovery there. Real low to, to hit Mysterica. Oh, yeah. Tried to clip him with that down smash. Ooh. This is a real tense match. Yeah. <laughs> it always is with. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, it doesn't get a third hit of the forward air, so it's not going to kill quite yet. Oh. Great option by Mysterica. He realized that he didn't have his jump, wanted to return with the side B, just catches him with the witch time, gets him with that up smash. You see, if Mysterica was what West, West MI, there would have been a taunt after the witch time. But oh, no. will this deserve a taunt? Yes, it might. But oh. Stone Cold Face yeah, is Mysterica. Yeah, you hate to see that. And a great job by Mysterica. Mm -hmm. Uh, recognizing the situation, especially against a character with poor recovery like Little mm -hmm. Mac, yeah. takes him off the stage. And here we'll see the replay here. It was extra okay, so that conversion was absolutely nuts. Oh, but absolutely. Until crap. that point, that was a pretty close match. Yeah, fair, which twist, fair, which twist, fair, fair, fair. Great job by Mysterica taking that stock. And just like that, we're in game two. Uh, I'm assuming FD's banned. Bane at his worst stage, Little Mac's best. Oh no. Could we see it again? We're gonna see it. That's it. If you need to and that's and the you know, Abner rubs off on er, <laughs> Ryoku rubs off on everybody. It's oh the, no. Okay. It's the superior mentality of these Bayo players wanting to get inside their opponents' heads, and right now, Mysterica is doing a great job at that. Totally 25 percent. Mysterica's living in his brain. Oh, absolutely. Abs <laughs> oh no. 32% on Joe Cool. Yeah. He's got to find a way to maintain his footing on the stage and rack up damage. And here it is. Slugs him for two right there, trying to get the stock off. Nice up smash. smash. Oh, and Ooh. another one. That's going to take it. Bayonetta, despite being a very great character, is relatively light. And Joe Cool right back in it. As, as, we, as I said earlier, this matchup does not seem like it'd be the worst thing ever until you can get predictable with how to witch time. Yeah, Joe Cool left and that went off. Not really sure what was going on in his head for that. KO punches online, but if he can maintain this, oh, that's going to be it, yep. So no KO punch. Oh my goodness, that uh, was a mean punish. Yeah, and what can you say? Uh, Bayonetta's kind of a good kid. She's all right. She's, she's yeah, really I mean, good. probably somewhere around top 10. Something like that. But phenomenal stuff.